We are about to embark on a mission into outer space. That's right, it's unit study time. We are over the moon. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> about starting our space unit study. This was a pick at the beginning of the 2020-2021 school year by my middle daughter, Maggie. Oh my gosh, I can't even describe to you guys the enthusiasm and just drive and desire for knowledge that she has when it comes to learning about the solar system and planets in space. It has been a challenge to keep our books away from her because she just is all over them. And she'll come to me and she's like, mom, did you know this? Mom, did you know that? When I say you guys have free choice, go pick a book. She always goes to some sort of space related book off of the shelf. This girl is about to be in heaven for the next four weeks. And she also received a telescope for Christmas. If you did not see our educational Christmas gifts that the girls received from their grandparents and their great aunt. Go check out that video. I will link it down below. But we have a telescope now. We have tons of space books. We have space activities. And we are about to do this in the space category. Ah! I always share with you guys what our objectives are. I come up with our objectives. I come up with the objectives by asking the girls what it is they would like to know. And I formulate those into a question and work from there. So of course our purpose is to learn any and everything that we can about space. The purpose, objectives, all of the material that we will be using for our space unit study will be linked down below. Also, this is going to be a two part video. I'm going to give you our objectives and purpose and all of those things. And then in the next video, I will show you all of the books that we will be using. We have a lot of space stuff, you guys. We are about to spend lots of time on this unit study. It's gonna be so fun. First thing is, I want to show you that I originally started with this space unit study with Gather Round. I purchased the Gather Round Space Unit Study back in the summer of 2020 for us to use. However, after using the Oceans Unit Study, which was our first unit study for the school year, I discovered that Gather Round was a little too long. There were pros and cons. I will also link that video below. I talked about pros and cons of the Ocean Unit Study. It is no different, unfortunately, for the Space Unit Study. However, I am going to use some of the material here. We will not dive into it the way we did for the Ocean Unit Study at all. It is simply a, I wanna say, it's, I'm just using it as a, as a reference, <laughs> but I have um, taken some of the material here and expanded on it the way our daughters would like to in the way I would like for it to be presented so that it works for us. So this is the first thing resource is the gather around homeschool space unit study. I have the teacher's manual and I also have the early elementary. There are still really great resources in this unit study. You guys, I don't want you to think that it's completely useless because it is not. Okay. It has the table of contents here for early elementary and then it has scope and sequence. We do not use gather around as our main curriculum. It has language arts, science, art, history and geography, no math, but we do not use it for those. It also has Bible incorporated all throughout. We only use it for the science geography portions of it, not the language arts. And then we do Bible in everything that we do all of our curriculum with the exception of math. And then in the student manual, it just goes into the lesson. There are 20 lessons in this curriculum. I still found that it's very lengthy. Same thing every day you go through and you write specific things about whatever the topic may be, the planets, things like that, stars, galaxies, whatever. And then you do an art project and then there's language arts. And I say art project is usually just drawing. Okay. So we're branching out from that, just like we did with our ocean unit study. I'm just using this as a reference. One of the things that I do really love about it is that it gives you book 
references and videos and fun stuff like that in the beginning. Here are the book references. On here, they have pre-reader and then early reader. And these are books that you can check out at your library, purchase them if you'd like. They're great suggestive books. There are also, they also have it for early elementary, upper elementary. There are great books in here for read alouds, all of the things. So as far as getting book references and things like that, this is perfect for that. It also gives you supplemental books. It also gives supplemental or basket books and videos. For example, some of the videos they have on here, Apollo 13, um, NASA, Journey Through Space, the devotional that we use, the indescribable 100 devotions about God and science is here and we already have that. We will reference that and use that as a part of our morning basket. But there are really great references to use here for a unit study development. Don't count it out all the way, y'all. <laughs> our objective, I gave you our purpose. Our purpose is basically just to learn everything that we can about space and answer the girls' questions that they had. Our objectives. Objective number one is to learn about all of the planets, including dwarf planets. They want to know something about those planets. We will also learn about the sun and the moon. And I don't have specific things that they wanted to learn. They just wanted to learn about it. I am going to go through and pick some things for us to focus on about the sun and the moon, like the distance and how hot the sun is and the purpose of the sun. And we will learn about the moon and we will move on from there. The other thing is they wanted to know about stars. They wanted to know how stars got their colors, how many stars there are, and how those stars form galaxies. Another question they had is what is a galaxy? <laughs> and what is the solar system? What makes up the solar system and what is it? Those were their questions that they wanted to know. We will expound on that and make this unit study great for us. Really, for me, it just feels like a lot of free reading and learning. The main books that we will use to go along with our unit study will be DK Smithsonian Space. Amazing book. If you don't have it, go get it right now. <laughs> we will use the Atlas of Space Adventures. This book is really fun. There is an app for you to download. In that app, you hover over certain pictures within the book. You can hover over certain pictures in the book and it will show you or play you a video, a short video related to that picture. Amazing. We also have the Oceans book as well. Our third and these are our main books that we will use for the unit study is planetarium for activities we will do this little over the moon glow in the dark stars my mother found this i believe maybe at the dollar store i can't remember we've had it for a little while and i also found the smithsonian timeline of science in uh, space, space exploration, and we are going to put together this rocket ship. I got that at Ollie's. It was a great find, $3.99. And the last thing is we are going to build a solar system. We are doing this the advanced way. <laughs> I know we made solar systems when we were children. I will not be doing it that way. <laughs> I will be using this. <laughs> Big Build a Solar System. I found this at Costco and it is a book here along with a 27 piece model. It will look like this. Those will be our projects. We will also draw, do art and we will draw Earth and Saturn. The girls wanted to draw Saturn because it has that beautiful ring around it. As far as videos and movies, we will watch Hidden Figures for the 5,000th time because we absolutely love that movie. We will also watch an episode of Veggie Tales Into Space and the Magic School Bus has tons of space related videos over all of those seasons. Those can be found on Netflix and also here on YouTube. As far as our Space unit study, we are about to dive deep into it. We will have some nights where we are outside stargazing and looking for all things galaxies 
and everything in between and it's going to be so much fun so remember i am doing a part two to this video to show you all of the space books that we have including read alouds and pop-up books everything in between stick around for that that will be the next video coming out this week let me know what you enjoy about space if you have any questions i can pass those on to my daughters and we can figure it out I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you will never miss another video again. And I will see you guys right back here next time for another video. Bye.